Here we are. We're live, dude. Hey, hey. Mark Norman. Good to be here. Yes, up, brother? dude. In the basement. Grandma's basement. That's what they designed this after. Yeah. Dude, you're looking good, man. Really? Yeah, you're looking oh, good. Thanks, thanks. Looking good. I've been on the road. I'm on <laughs> no slim. sleep. I'm hungover. Really? So thanks. What'd you do last night? We just sat at the cellar till like 3.45 oh, and we fuck. went to the ale house and just kept going. I was at the Village Underground. It would have been nice. Oh, we dude, we had Ari there. We had a good crew. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we could have I was with you. Sherrod. Ah, <laughs> it's fun. I like hanging with Sherrod, dude. He's so guy. funny, dude. Yeah, and he he he's a, just a great hang. He is. He's so lively. But uh, we we just did it up, and we you know when you just can't leave. Yeah, just keep boozing. The drinks mm-hmm. are cheap. And- that's it, that's like been the biggest thing coming back from COVID. Because I like you know mm-hmm. I wasn't drinking during the week during COVID really. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like back to doing spots every night where it's like oh shit I remember this was like a problem. Yes. Party time. Where it's like oh fuck I drink every night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's like I'll take a night off. I still have like six Bud Lights. That's yeah. a night off. Now. That is exactly yeah. And you we work in a bar. I mean it's impossible. Yeah. And then you're drinking then, so I gotta. Drink. Yeah. And then you have a good set. Yeah. And you're like oh this rules. Party Everybody time. loves me. Right. I'm gonna get fucked up. These guys the other comics like me for the first time ever. Right. Right. Yeah. And then there's a lot of that like. Come on, have another. Yeah, I kept trying to that, leave. Yeah. Then you get the yeah, I'll do it. They all go ah. Yeah, yeah. every night, every night, every night. Like last night, I, I was out. We were out till like two, and I was like, all right, it's early. I got to go to bed. Yeah. And like, why do you got to leave? I was like, I'm gonna get fucked up tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna get fucked up tonight. Yeah. You got to spread it out. That's tough. It is tough. It's the worst group of peer pressurers too. Yeah. And yeah, but it's so fun. It's so who's <laughs> it's fun so to fun, talk dude. to? You yeah. Know, it's just comedy people and fun, and you can say horrible things, and everybody laughs. Yeah. Last true. night it was Sean Patton. He got me. Oh, I yeah. kept trying to leave, and he was like, "Come on, man." I love uh, Patton. Yeah, he's the best. Yeah, he's the best. He looks like an old sea captain. He does, dude. <laughs> and watching his stand-up, his stand-up's fun. Oh, dude. he's so yeah, he especially when a crowd isn't on board. Like he went last last night, so they were like tired. Yeah, and he went on and was just like screaming and yelling. It was it was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's one of those fun. guys. There's a couple of comics that are like really fun to watch not do well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if the crowd's not liking him, I'm like, dude, this guy's the best. Yeah. yeah they don't yeah. like implode. Yeah. yeah David tells nice. like that he's funnier bombing, which is rare. <laughs> I mean, he's the funniest guy on the planet, but True. when he's bombing, it's just like, ah, he's making yeah, noises yeah. and <laughs> slamming the mic stand down. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hell yeah, dude. I'm glad you're back, dude. From what? It stunk, dude. You couldn't do anything. You were You were grounded for like a year. Oh, with Corona? Yeah, I remember when it first hit, you are just like, I'll just drive across the country. You were yeah, you're a lost dog. Yeah, dude. nothing to do. You are a lost dog. Yeah. You were living like a beach house? For the first yeah. like two months, I was doing Airbnbs, which Whoa. was awesome. It was so easy. And every Airbnb, it was like beachfront for like a thousand bucks for a week. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, it was cheap as fuck. And we were the only ones at the beach, so we'd do like fires every night. It was Whoa. so fucking nice. Wow. What'd you do yeah. for the pandemic? What were you? I sucked. I, I was here. I just sit in my shitty really? apartment. I mean, I, I did the road illegally, but yeah, yeah, uh, swag. I did a lot of performing <laughs> and uh, yeah, just fucked around. How I bad were those? Ah, this is the same as every podcast. Those outdoor shows were just. Ah, it's a nightmare. Oh I, I won't God. do one. I won't do another. Yeah. I won't do upstairs here. I won't do that either. <laughs> right, dude, I'm not yeah. doing it. It's a I, dude, I thought I, I thought I would hate that more than I did. I did the one outdoor yeah. one. I was like, this is pretty tight. Uh, Which one? Oh, Soldier. 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 Soldier's is good. Okay, that was fun. Soldier. Yeah, Soldier's is different. That. We're talking outdoor, like on the street here. Oh, fuck that. On the street yeah. here, oh, people just walk that. through. Yeah. And, if, and if you try to like make fun of them, it's like, dude, this person might fuck me. They yeah. might haul off. Like, it's yeah. like a homeless guy just walking through True. and you're like, right, look right. at this loser. And he's like, why fuck you? Fuck? Yeah. Like, like, Never mind, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, that's different. I, okay. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Glad yeah, that's over. They did a comedy contest like that here years ago what What an outdoor one and it wasn't it was it had nothing to do with covid they're like yeah. we're, they're like it was the hoboken comedy festival maybe yeah. and yeah. it was just i showed up and they were like oh by the way it's outside under an underpass and i was like why <laughs> oh my yeah. god i don't want to do that i'm so how'd it go horribly dude yeah of course it was horrible how did like five yeah. minutes under, like under a highway yeah i was like relatively new, new. <laughs> i was like well, i better do a good job under a highway and it's 
<laughs> it's totally pointless. Yeah, it's horrible. It's a whole day. Yeah. I like I was like, come on. It's, I was like, I think I was married at the time. Nice. I had been like, this is really important. I was under a highway like, <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. Wrong turn. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually very not important. <laughs> yeah, it turns out. It, it's sad when you realize how flimsy comedy is. Yeah. You know, like, oh, it has to be exactly in the right setting with the people who are there to see it and all that. Because yeah. if it's not all perfect, it's the worst art form ever. It's the worst performance. Yeah. He's a crazy ever. person. Yeah. yeah. People do that outside and people are like, stop, exactly. stop, stop. Exactly. Yeah, dude, you do these shows. Stop. Like I went on, I did a show like it was early in the day. And you go on and people are like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like you go on. I went on first and Dude. people were like, literally like they're trying to eat. And right. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Because I was you? up there talking about like pedophiles. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what? Like, the sun has to go down for you to talk. You need yes. the sun down. Dude, do you remember the comedy restaurant that was also a, a, a eternal comedy contest? Oh, the black one? Yes. Yes. Dude, Dude. I was talking to Blizz about this. He never, in Philly, they had a thing. They were like, Let's, what if you started a restaurant first? And then slid comedy in on people. It was people. crazy. It was a disaster. And it was dude. just black people eating. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're the only white guy in the they room. They only had one party in there at a time. Right. Yeah. You it was know, always, the business dude, just, it was just one bro table. I did one talking loudly, and then they would be like, "Oh, by the way, here's a comedy contest." It wasn't even a show. Yeah. Then they'd yeah. make people compete to people eating dinner who were like, "I'd rather not deal with this right now." They oh. had no. They didn't know. So show fucking was funny. That's it was so, so funny. Fair so I did one. It the was first horrible. round and I crushed. You killed it. And dude. I was like, what's up? I'm white. Like, the easiest. Yeah, man. And then I was like, then there was the next round was just one table <laughs> that was clearly celebrating a guy getting out of jail. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He just got you called back. attention. Yeah, you called attention. And then I came on and I, because everybody bombed before me. And I was yeah. Like, I got this. The contest. It was easy. ripe for a winner. Yeah, this is easy, easy thousand dollars I'm about to win, which obviously they never paid. And, uh, <laughs> and I came on, dude. There's just one table and they, I thought they were going to fight me. Yeah, I yeah. thought that like I was like I got this. Well, easy. you pointed out the fact I, that like, the guy got was, you know, off the stage and stood at the foot of their table. Oh, yeah. it was. He went all in. Oh, he probably like spit on their crab. They're cracking yeah, crab legs. Dude. They were just trying to eat, and I was like, "What? This guy just get out of jail or something?" Uh, <laughs> like, what'd you say, motherfucker? I was like, nothing. I think I lost this round. <laughs> it's a bad round. I did a. We used to do these shows up in Harlem, and because uh, white people wouldn't book us, so we had to go do like black shows and. This guy went on and did sound effects, killing, nice. killing with like the fucking, I'm the robot. Oh, that's always, that's always tough being nice. next. I know. When you see that murdering, just being like, oh, this is different than what yeah. I got. Yes. Yeah. And I'm the whitest guy ever with my dumb observations about, you know, uh, bodegas are weird. And yeah. uh, so I eat it. So I start making fun of that guy. I'm like, how about the guy from Police Academy? Uh, and that's kind of getting yeah, classic. him. Classic. And then I get off and he goes, let me talk to you outside. He goes, <laughs> Big guy in like a yellow suit. And he's like, you ever do that shit again? I'll fucking kill you. You're in the wrong area. You don't know me. I'll fuck you up. And like the host stepped in, was like, "No, no, uh, don't fuck. fuck with him, Jerry." You know, it was all damn. Thing. Holy fuck! Yeah. What was his name? Did he have a corn? He's popcorn. <laughs> I think it was Tater Top. Taxi, yeah, Tater Top. Yeah, terrifying. Yeah, man. Damn, he might still kill you. Yeah, but I did a black room in in Brooklyn like two weeks ago, and I was like, I'm not gonna do the white guy thing. I got jokes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm bombing and like three minutes in, I'm like, hey, hey, what's up with rap? (laughs) All right. All right. So I totally gave in. What's always funny in black rooms, you see white comedy, like white comics pander and have that fail. Oh, I've done that that so so many times. dude. I go to warm dad and be like, yo, what's up with fucking trick daddy? (laughs) Or like a reference that I'm like, they're going to be surprised. I know this reference. Exactly. Exactly. And then just eat it. Oh, (laughs) I I think uh, you have to go in there and just be like severely autistic. Mm. I've gone in there before and just talked Pokemon and it was just like <laughs> murdering, dude. They're just like, oh shit. Stop with that motherfucking Bulbasaur. True. Yeah, well, you hit a nerve. True. Right. You didn't know back I, then. I, exactly. That I black people love Japanese cartoons. True. I didn't know. You had no idea. I didn't know. It was just, I was like, damn, these guys like A couple me, of them man. probably went into Super Saiyan as soon as you started oh. talking. <laughs> <laughs> they love that shit. Oh, they do. It's, it's awesome, dude. I was so, and you find that out, especially from like online dating. You see the dating profiles and like I love anime and you're like, it's the fifth one this week. Yeah, dude, like they a love black it. girl. Yeah, what? That's what you you don't know of this? No, I'm not on the the you apps. Don't know, I'm not on black a, people meet. No, dude, you ever? It's on Tinder. Do you ever date like a like a black nerd? No, never. I I've never dated a uh, a black. I've person. I've banged a few, but I never dated. Really? Yeah. Personal choice or is that like circumstance? Is that like hard line? I just, I just never, I don't want to date anybody, but true, they never true. pursued. So if the girl's like, we have to date now, I'm like, all right. We yeah, I hear date. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But a black chick was never like, hey, 
call me. Exactly. Yeah. You never got you never got called. Yeah, yeah, but I've banged a few and that was great and terrifying, but uh <laughs> never uh never dated. What would yeah. you talk about? Cosby? He's I married to a black lady. What? Yeah, married to a black this lady. Is What's his that second like? Second black wedding. Second black? Yeah. Marriage. What? <laughs> <laughs> Try to add the extra word every time Norman says black. Yeah, lady. <laughs> Tell me everything. It's chill, dude. Again, love of anime. Shared. You just watch anime. You just chill. And, yeah, uh, autistic white dudes and black ladies yeah, should unite. Yeah, we, we sync up. We sync up. Well, apparently, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to tap into my autism. Apparently, uh, Chinese men or Asian men. I, I, I got to stop using Chinese as an all-inclusive for Asian people. Sure. <laughs> Asian men. Wait, what are you, Chinese? <laughs> I still have that really bad. It's just an Indian guy. Oh. <laughs> it's Chinaman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently Asian men and black women are the... No, no, yeah, are the least likely to date outside of their race, yeah, and their sure. counterparts are the most, or they're like highly likely to date. Outside yeah, of course. Right. So they get left single a lot. Is that why black women get so mad about the white girl black guy? Oh, they hate it. They hate it. They hate it. White chicks kind of don't like like very low key or kind. They'll get a little if you get. You, you think? Oh, I know. They'll. Cor- I've got cornered a couple times. Really? Like, oh, you like black women? Oh. Yeah. They're, oh, yeah. They do the same thing. It's I in think- their blood. Girls are the same. They're yeah, all the same. Good point. They're good all point. the same. They all do it. Right. They're all very racist. Girls are all very incredibly racist. Yeah. Yeah. And they like to stick together. They like to very, girls all are like, we should stick with our kind. But then girls hate girls too. Exactly. They hate everybody. Yeah, true. They hate everybody. Yeah. So that's tough. (laughs) Crabs. are full of hate. They're crabs in a bucket. They're crabs, dude. Yeah. Well, they're all the same. They're all Agent Smiths. They meet each other and they're like, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. The fuck do you think you're fucking better than me? Right, right. (laughs) But yeah, no, it's chill, dude. It's chill. The cool thing I would say. They are dog brains. Huh? You ever bring a dog? You know, yeah, it's dog brains, dude. You bring them to. They're like, no, they're they're good. I can bring them to the party. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, they're like sniffing. And it's like, oh, no, no, no. It's like, oh fuck, they spazzed. Like two hours in, they spazzed. <laughs> or they just get into a lunch yeah. train. Like, Whoa, come on! <laughs> <laughs> they start getting in the trash. Start devouring a pizza when everyone leaves. The, the best, I would say, there, there's a ton of awesome things about it. You know, my beautiful interracial relationship. But sure. One of the hallmarks is being like a Target or a Walmart. Because you, like you're piling around a Target or Walmart. There's like a you'll get you're like an old Asian lady, and you're like she's in your way, and you want to like just like the fuck out of the way. But you, you can't. You're like Ugh. it's kind of a bad look to be like, excuse me, Chinese lady, move. Yeah, exactly, yeah. like move, lady. <laughs> but dude, if you're following, it's like following an ambulance. If you're just behind a black lady in one of those stores. They're just fucking Everyone's full, getting the full fuck sales out of the, way, the wind dude, dude. Right. Full, and you just you just follow right behind them and you're like oh hell yeah dude yeah do you ever, sorry do you ever get the uh like the guy because you you look like you could hear an n-word every now and then like a white guy could trust you <laughs> to say it and then you're like oh you know my wife's yeah. black me and matt are friends oh we've been, I've been yeah i've been in that situation before <laughs> yeah that's yeah. tough i go home and tell i text her immediately be like that's three today <laughs> that's three true she's but like i'm so wet that's three yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the third one i've heard so far and Damn. i go home and she lashes me <laughs> I, take, I take it all for everybody else no like a religious like a cat of nine tails like right right, right. Not, no, not one of those yeah i don't think one of those just a cat of nine tails yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you, you know, you hear them and you just kind of, you're like, all right, nice. And you guys get to ask questions. Like I ask my black friends, like, what's up with this with black people? Yeah. And they're like, well, it's actually this, this, like, what's with the no swimming? They're like, well, we just didn't grow up swimming. I'm like, huh? You know? <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I was talking to Aunt Moore the other night and I was mm-hmm. like making fun of, I was like, you guys, it made me laugh so hard that he, him and Reggie both could not swim. Oh, yeah. It made me laugh so hard. Just thinking of them. Like in a pool, like it's a, dude. It's, it's a so major. Easy. It's so it's a easy. Major, yeah. It's. I think it's one of those things where, like, if you're little, you're still in that kind of magical phase yeah, of your life. Everything. As soon as you're adult, you're like, hold on, what? It's yeah. survival as an adult. It's, for a kid, it's kind of fun. Yeah. It must be how they're like. Why can't they dance? True. Like, what's wrong? Why yeah. are you so stiff out there? I'm like, I just don't know how. Yeah, so, I, I can't up. do it. Well, I got the secret. My my black wife unlocked the secret with me the other day. Please. You just as the drums hit, you just hit the drums but with your feet and you're just dancing and it looks perfect and you're on and you're in rhythm i don't know i'm telling you dude i'm telling well just <laughs> don't do that well you also got, oh there's the other key too so you can't have a tight spine you got to hunch a little oh, bit hunch a little hunch a little that's good Hunch a little and loosen and then just look how good i look right oh, now. that is pretty good. good so much but you're like you I look was, like bye 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 <laughs> like one of the marionettes that's see good. a hunch a little Pocono. Can't be P- tight. Pocono. I'm, I hit her. I have like, a, you know, I'm, I'm like you. We have like marine posture. I'm right. Fucking, I'm up. I'm high. And, but yeah, she's like, hunch it out. It's fucking. That's good. Like juvenile. Just met, right. Imagine a huge chain. You're showing a camera. Okay. That's By how I do it. 
<laughs> Marines and gays, greatest posture. True. It's weird how it's got a lot of range. Gay guys can, they can, you know, well, it's like they, any girl dance. No girls can dance bad. Everyone's like, yeah. No, my gal's a real robot. Really? Oh, my God. She's a boner yeah. out there. Really? Mine, yeah. mine too. Really? You know her. She can't dance. Yeah, well, Imagine I'm, her dancing. Well, it's like girls can, there's no move a girl. The last can, one could. The last one was really? twerking and shit. Really? Yeah, it's so hot and when a girl can dance. Yeah. Yeah, blows my tight. mind. Well, there's no move that's kind of off. Like girls, I was at a wedding recently and girls are just like. Yeah, I don't like the, tw- <laughs> you don't, no. Really? Your girl's twerking? That's good. You're just sitting there. You're well, like, that's what weird. The fuck are you doing, lady? You gotta get behind her, dude, and just fucking. No, you can't grind. Two whites can't go... grind. Yes, you can. Yeah. No, we can't. You gotta stand totally still. Matt, just get behind please, her. you're speaking on an experience you don't sorry, have. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're speaking I'm... on my experience no, I'm, I'm of actually... whites only I'm dating. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> WOD. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, I apologize for that. That was insensitive. Um, but yeah, the. Um, but yeah, no, you just yeah, you just get out there and let them let them do your thing. Punch. Yeah, get behind them and just. Oh yeah, girl. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, girls, dog hump out on. There's no the bar floor. for girl. Girls can go out and just, I was watching them do like all this weird shit with their hands, and it's girls have a lot of different options that like. That's true. So like you, you know, because we don't want to look a choice. That's a choice by a girl. Yeah, we don't want to look feminine either yeah. when we're dancing. Or gay. So you, yeah, or gay. Yeah, yeah exactly. So a girl can do either. <laughs> sure, they can be Yeah, but if gay you're too good at dancing, it's gay. Yeah, you gotta you gotta mm. straddle the line. If you're like a re- you go to a wedding and somebody's a good dancer. You gotta straddle the it's line. It's disgusting when a straight guy's out being a good dancer. He's got moves. No, I mean like a good dancer, like not he's, you. He's technical, <laughs> not you. I'm trying I, to stand. No, no, like, no, 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 you're not. No, I hear you. I I'm hear talking you. about like technical. a dude that like there's a circle around him and he starts dancing and, and he does a straight. spin. Oh. There, it's like, there, like, oh. Well, it's like there's like a man. There can be a manufactured aspect to it. You know what I mean? It's not coming from a place, an authentic place. It's, it's studied up. Right, yeah, I hear what you're saying, yeah, it's, it's been, yeah, yeah, you practice. He's trying for to this fuck wedding? some guys, trying to fuck all your cousins at a wedding yeah. with his dance moves. Yeah, you gotta stop. You gotta yeah. stop him. Get a or jerk. You have to just step up to him and just challenge him with like get like real gay on him on the dance. Yeah, floor. I I'm think saying. the hottest thing you can do as a guy, hey, hey, is a uh, bad dancer but owning it. I think girls like that. They're like, this guy sucks at dance, but he's so confident well, in it. Yeah, he's having fun. You do that. Yes. Like, this guy must have a huge fucking dick. Exactly. Which I don't, but <laughs> I'll, I'll get drunk enough that you I'm- You seem like you got a big dick. I'm surprised. I am a hot medium. Nice. Yeah. yeah. You guys both probably you seem like probably a hot medium. the same medium. dick, honestly. Ah, I feel like the blackness will get you another inch. <laughs> <laughs> it might have grown. Like your, your Dude, dick I, is evolved. I was evolved. telling someone the other day, I think it fucking- I had a, I told, I had a dick renaissance in college, and I, I swear to God, I think it might have been that. When you made the jump, yeah, yeah when I fully, yeah, I fully committed. I think it was just like, like that little bit inside of me just <clears throat> right. came out. It's yeah. a little bit, just a tad, just to keep me, you know, exactly. It's evolutionary. Keep everything exactly. Keep right. everything in line. Oh, here's the other joke. We got a workshop tonight. What you got? Uh, I'm just trying to defend white women. Nice. Because everybody's wild. everybody's been trashing them. Oh yeah. Every single comedian gets stepping up for your like, You know who's the white? Yeah. I'm like, we got to protect our white queens. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have anything other than they were responsible. White women were responsible for Barack Obama, Seth mm-hmm. Curry. Uh, Seth Curry, the basketball player. Steph Curry, I should have said, but and Seth, who's his Seth? brother. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Patrick Mahomes. Who's Pretty who's good. Patrick Best quarterback oh, in the yeah. NFL. So why are they... Oh, I see. Oh, like they gave birth to all of them. Good Drake. Point. Drake and that guy. And Obama's the best one. Yeah. Year. I thought you were saying they voted for Obama. No, no, no. I thought uh, so true. Too. I should have... I won't start with him. Yeah. True. Let me yeah. start with Wayne Gretzky. And Obama's dad <laughs> left and she raised him. It's all white lady. Anyway, and then ended so this, by being like... So you're bringing this out there and be like, Obama's no good fucking dad. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that part. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I got, there's something there. You got something there. Like Defending yeah. your white queens. Defending white queens is funny, and then and then at the end being like, also lay off them. They're dumb as hell. <laughs> True. <laughs> like back off. They're fucking idiots. Yeah. They right. just got out of the house like 40 years ago. True. 30 years ago. They they're were dumb incub- as hell. They, they have incubated. no idea what they're doing. They out were there. incubated for sure. They're going around I mean, yelling at people, screaming, there crying. There you go. Yeah. I, I yeah completely... They were incubated heavily, dude. Oh yeah. yeah. They're like homeschooled kids. <laughs> I completely and agree, also white guys are that we're, we're doing a very good job of being like yeah it's them right meanwhile literally we do it's white guys we've been backstabbing each other <laughs> well the they white were guys quiet. no i'm saying girls and guys when we did horrible shit they were quiet yeah and true. so they're like accomplices 
But I still don't want him flying planes. <laughs> True that. <laughs> All right. I don't Joker. think there's anything there. No, no. I, I like I that. Think I like that. It. You got like something we'll get there. It. We'll get it fired up. Yeah, yeah. There's something. Dude, there's I, had an, I had an idea the for a... Because um, I was thinking about how inherently... And I, and I, I, I do... like a, you know, I, I guess people get mad at this, but I think <laughs> women instinctively... And I think this is real. And not maybe it's, you know, obviously like maybe 10 out of 100, this doesn't apply to. But they, they like, they're trying to design a house and their whole, or their plans have to do with like the life within like a net, like it's a whole nesting thing. So it's not really, they're not on a con, not like a conquest thing. They want to set up a headquarters. So and it's like a lot of them, but they need a dude to do it. Yeah. So they need a dude. They're trying to build a nest. They need a nest, but, but you need a dude. But the girls that don't get the dude. We don't get the nest. I was yeah. like, we got to start figuring out a thing to do with them because they're causing problems. Are the women without homes. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> I was thinking of starting a orphanage. Just whores. Orphanage, yeah. dude. A you start up a orphanage, dude, and you just fucking you give them like. Have social you been media. to an apartment in New York with like three women? <laughs> oh. That's a orphanage. They're orphanage, all whores. Dude. But you got to take care of them, dude. You got to take care of them, and you got to give them like you, like you get them together. You give them like bot Instagram followers, or so in their head they're like, oh, I'm fucking those videos. They'll video themselves all day and be like, I've been videoing myself all day. Really? It's TikToks. You're doing TikToks? Of course. You, no, I mean I've been watching them. Yeah, but you know, oh, yeah. These beautiful dude, dude, women. You would be nasty on TikTok. True. Yeah. <laughs> Hunch. Do this. It's Hunch. this. Hunch. Yeah. But yeah, I was thinking about that, man. And it's like, and as soon as women are like, that's not true. It's like everyone busts out their phones. Let's see who has plans on whatever that yeah, thing Pinterest. is. Pinterest. Mm. One group of us has like has like 90 living rooms in their phone. Yeah. Go. They're nesters, bro. They're all they're just trying to build a nest and they need a dude. They would hate hearing this. They would, but, but you're, it's true. you got something. I don't I think, think you got they'll something. hate they're, it. They're, I think they know. Whole world, they all have Pinterest of their wedding, their like, house. They, this room, they come in, they just... Yeah. True. They want to put on overalls and splash one line of paint on and then call yeah. a contract. Uh, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> but yeah, no, The um, but I was thinking about that. I'm like, just a little tip into the... You know, well, they're in a tough psychology. spot. You're right, because it's like girl power, independent, all this shit. And, but then you're like, they're like, I like baking. But I can't let yeah. them know I yeah. like baking because that's like a traditional yep. gender role thing. But you still like it, and then you uh, want you a kid, see. but you're not supposed to. You say gotta you leave want a the kid. city. But they get a bad. They're the city. all women. My, the sex Back home. The, they're the women. Sex in the city. Sigh off them, dude. Sex in the city. Did the women in cities are out of control. You leave the city, they're all like, oh, "Yeah, chill. let's get married at 23. Well, I'm the, ready to start a family. Yeah, let's have five fucking kids, three right. dogs." True, but then at Sex in the City, the whole it all culminated in Mr. Big. He was the star of Sex in the City. What's, what was I don't remember. Mr. Big was the guy. I just remember who jerking off up. to the one sex scene every week. <laughs> Mr. Big snatched up SJP. Who so, I think is hot. What do you think of her? SJP. I think is hot. When I was yeah, a kid, man. I loved her. Me SJP too. Is hot. I was I was so into that crazy lady. mug. Yeah, the horse. But it's, yeah, yeah, but it's she. She can pull crazy it off. Crazy mug. <laughs> I mean, she's got a wild, wild face. Yeah, it's almost Medusa like. Yeah, but it but works. It entranced me. Yeah, yeah. she's got the mole too. Your dick hard. Yeah. I didn't even notice she had a mole. I was just. Just going through that fucking like maze like face. I couldn't yeah. I didn't even True. see the I didn't, even, I didn't even get to that. I'm still on like the center right of her face. And she's uh, yeah. just talking about being a slut the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's great. She's laying in a bed, typing laying on a fucking it. Oh. keyboard. And I hate to admit it, but men like women putting clothes on and trying on shit. That's what TikTok is. Yeah, just yeah, like, oh, yeah. look at her outfit. Look at her outfit. I mean, Which dude, sounds super yeah. millions gay, of views. Millions. Just watching. Because that's all you want to do it when you go out is stare at a girl, but you can't just, you got to like look away. Yeah, yeah. But that's what we want to do. So that's what TikTok is great. You're like, TikTok. I get to stare at this girl in her outfit the tiktok True. algorithm <laughs> yeah, nice. tiktok algorithm has discovered that i am a pedophile really oh it's, it's all over trying me. to break you down it's trying to make me a pedophile dude i mean is it what do they do they give you they should give you age stamps well it just it just looks at how long you watch each video so yeah. of course if it's a hot chick i'm gonna watch the whole video true and then yeah so is, now, it, is there now, anything if to I stop? turn on TikTok right now, it'll be a hot college shit. You got to throw well, a Family Guy clip in there every now and then just to balance it out. Yeah, true. Was is there anything on TikTok to stop like like say like fourteen year olds take videos of themselves? Is, uh, dude, do they I have an algorithm think, to like was stop girl, that from getting to you? There was a girl that was so hot, and then <laughs> one of her videos was like, "Here are my prom pictures." Oh, I was just like, "Dude, no, what, are you doing? what is going? on? I'm not doing it." No, I'm saying TikTok. TikTok sending me these yeah. beautiful angels. Did, and that that was it. It wasn't like and then, but like that was a flash, like a throwback Thursday. I mean, not. I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but this must have been exactly what actual real life was for Delia. 
Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> like every day. Right. It must have been real life TikTok where he's like fucking a chick and she's like, here's my prom photos. He's like, ah, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, man. You got to do, look, you not, gotta do a due diligence. You got to get, when you get to that level, <laughs> you need a private eye to like suss everybody out, get their ages. And yeah. then be like, and then if they're 16, then you, you maintain a relationship. That's <laughs> yeah. it's grooming. It's grooming. Well, it should be like Tinder where you can put the ages like 18 to 28, you know? Yeah. And that's what you see on TikTok. We're like 18 to party. 21 to answer. Yeah, like 16 to party. Yeah. yeah. Like we can just vibe. We can vibe. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, dude, a, that's, sorted, a, that's a sorted too business. Much, dude. I've been vibing you like crazy. It's <laughs> just sorted it's business. Vibing, it's just sorted business, dude. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you guys that. Well, the problem is you, you got to get dads. Well, they're not like, I don't think they're that young. I have no idea how who, old who any knows? of these girls are. Who knows? You got to get dads. It's the dad's fault. Dad's got to get on TikTok, show their daughters. Like, if you see this woman and you like her shit, I'm going to find you and yeah. fuck you up. Mm. Just get a dad, like, just fucking have guns and be like, you think my daughter's fucking hot, you sick fucking pervert? You know, if I yeah. see you liking her shit, I'm gonna come for you. Look, this is her. This is her in a bikini, dude. Yeah. Don't even fucking don't look at you hit hard you at all. Sick motherfuckers, dude. Wow. This was her mom when she was 17, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that's one. That's, what, that's a category now. A hot mom, and then they're like, she found this old tape of herself, and then they use the old filter of an oh. old camera, and it's a hot daughter. The girls dancing. are perverts, bro. It's crazy. Girls are sick perverts. Dude. They're tricking me every night. They're trying to get you in the nest, dude. They're luring you, dude. <laughs> they don't want me in the nest, dude. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the one is in the farts nest. and snores hey, right man, they're trying to get you in the nest it's Here's my hot mom they're showing you like yeah this is what i'll turn into and let me just paint a fucking wall yeah they do need <laughs> to paint. <laughs> just paint i can't i've been renting i'm not they're fucking to reverse tom sawyer's <laughs> that's all they are they're trying to trick someone into letting them paint yeah. they're a bunch of n-word gyms <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's tough it's not there. applicable to the thing but it's very funny yeah <laughs> oh yeah that's like my favorite that's my favorite Louis oh the way he's like Mark Twain said if you never tell a lie you don't have to remember the truth or whatever and then he's like but Mark Twain also said yeah. there once was a guy named <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 what a joke oh, great he's the king man whatever happened to that guy <laughs> so good he's around yeah man the, but yeah uh, that's you know I, I mean I'm saying all this respectfully but Seems to be the way. It seems to be the facts I've been picking up. Yeah, yeah. And they don't like the facts. No. <laughs> they don't like facts. I'm like, I'm just going off what I'm seeing. And they're like, fuck you. I'll kill you. Like, Why are you mad at me? I'm just saying. Wait, what who I'm... are you talking about? Women. Oh, okay. <laughs> Most groups. <laughs> yeah. Wait, which just... group are we on right now? Yeah. I'm just saying what I saw the other day. And they're like, ah. True. Maybe you're so mad because we got something here. <laughs> you were on to the case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they don't weird. like we... When you suss them out, it's yeah, they get very cornered. Right. It's like when they're like, they, you can't generalize a group. We're all different. And then they go on stage like white people like mayonnaise and yoga and all yeah. that. And you're like, I thought we couldn't generalize. So that that one's that one's true. But the other ones aren't. What's tough about it is that's the only group you can generalize about. Right. Left. So every white comic's going on stage and be like, white guys. Yes. <laughs> like yes. it's the only one we got left. It, you just filter the one Do you want to paint a wall? Paint a wall? Yeah. Is that like kind of a dream for you? To paint a house? No, not a dream. Uh, yeah, she's lying. Denial. Lying right through her teeth right Clear now. Clear denial. <laughs> she has no idea. It's, <laughs> sorry. You know what else was a tough one is the, uh, like, you, you, you should Over two with Adele today. That was bad. Uh, that was she wants fun. a nest. What are you kidding? Come oh, yeah. on. Dude, she's come looking on. for a, a pile of sticks. She's probably crying right now, dude. <laughs> Perfect. I've laid the trap. Now I get to go out and console her. <laughs> dude, you're a sick ticket, dude. You know that. Damn. You just wanted to break her down. You got to break them down. True. Yeah. Build them up. That's true. I'm sorry, baby. Long game. Beautiful. Yeah, I was watching. A, I was watching. <laughs> I was watching a, uh, one of those. Like, I, I, I watch a lot of. You, what's up? <laughs> It's not nice. This is fun. This is fun. Yeah. This, will, this will age well, like for the you know. Oh, this three will years, go really like, good for us. Forty years from now, they're oh, like, yeah. damn, dude, you're a fucking These guys granddad. Are ahead of their time, dude. Hell. Yeah, once women, how they know that trick? Once the women have regressed in the next forty years, <laughs> back to their place. <laughs> like, damn, these guys called it. I can't believe they called it. <laughs> now nah, they're gonna kick it, dude. They run the world, bro. Are you kidding me? They do kick they it. Run the fucking world. They're kick ass as hell. I like, dude. That like, whenever I see women, I like, I shudder. Like sometimes I just look at them, like, what the fuck? I'm like, how powerful? I'm sorry, man. You guys just kick so much. But didn't you have that dude. experience when they when she gave birth? Though you watch your wife. Whoa. Isn't that the one yeah, thing? That's, that's the one thing nuts. that guys usually switch over, and they're like, they are strong. This that was insane. Yeah. Well, it was like I was crying. You saw it. <laughs> well, I was it, I was on the other end because it was like the 
Oh, the face I, end. Yeah, the baby had the umbilical cord around her neck, so they had to do the old fucking Ooh, lynching. Open it up. Yeah, open it up. Yeah, they had it three times. I had it, dude. You, you're, sorry, I, sorry. I had three. I had it too. Comedy podcast. I had it too. I had I had it wrapped. It's genetic. We so did I. So did I. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. A lot of yeah, a lot of the, maybe it's a comedy thing. I think so. I think that deprivation of oxygen early on just yeah. I was a C-section. I was a C-section yeah. too. I was a unit. Re- oh, oh big ass baby! You're probably, probably out. you're probably fucking like Rocky, dude, on her abdominal wall, just fucking. <laughs> yeah, they cut me out early. They're like, get rid of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's already six <laughs> two. But yeah, they, it was like they came up with a Bud Light. <laughs> it was ter- The whole experience is terrifying, and I don't know if they go in. It, it's of course it's fucked up. They go into like it's like it's like two days before they're like I'm fucking hot, and you're like, <laughs> and then and then they're like. <laughs> Fucking their ab, their stomachs here, and they're cut. And you know, I was like, eh. and they're like, she's like, you'll be soon to be okay. And I'm like, how are you champing this, dude? Yeah. How are you champing yeah. this? It was you and me have a tough time with mushrooms. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> this lady's getting sliced open. That's the one thing you see, and you're just like, holy fuck, ew. And then, and then, like, you're like, dude, you don't ever have to do that again. Like two weeks later, they're like, I want another baby, and you're like, what? Isn't that wild? What? But it's you know been going on for obviously generations and generations. And, it's and, the oldest time. Uh, true, and a, a big part of pregnancy is called nesting. Oh. So that, that's a thing. They start like they'll start like rearranging. It's actually pretty sweet. They'll like just deck your house out. Your house becomes like super organized and laid out. Mm. They start so, to. Ne- it's an instinctive thing. Sure, exactly. Start like they usually, get a, they usually get a dog first. Mm-hmm. Ladies love good girlfriends buy a dog first and then get pregnant in a year. You're so right. Oh, that's the that's yeah. the yeah. It's a training wheels. That's the stork, dude. That's the true stork. Yeah, get a dog. Mm. It, they, it's a it's test. A French bulldog. They want to see because you might leave them and the dog, and then they're like, all right, well, at least that's yeah, not a yeah, kid. Yeah. Oh, true. I got I got hit with that. There's I, a I lot of the dog. Oh, and the lady. <laughs> yeah. there's a dog I cry about sometimes, dude. If I think dog. about that dog, it's, like, it's probably dead now. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about my. Uh, ex's dog anymore no yeah. it fades i lived with i lived with it It did right? fade yeah you lived with it i lived with while. it i trained it also i don't think the dog even liked me really we had a bond he, he only bond. liked the girl because they were together all the time so mm. then i'd come we had a bond i took when i had the dog that i had in my you know my first marriage the uh <laughs> i took the dog with me because i you know i was getting a little weekend time and i brought it on like a, a date with my my wife the one yeah forever person and i brought it with me to her house my fucking custody dog jesus and it just fu- it was an akita so they're like a fucking terrifying yeah, dog i slept and it the like, my dog the akita just was face to face i woke up was face to face with my then girlfriend now wife dude oh Whoa. it was like who's this lady yeah dude it was just fucking like and i was like i woke up and i was like don't move my what? dog oh my, my dog might maul you what and my dog didn't like it at all why would you want a dog in your house that's gonna kill your lady well it <laughs> She didn't know that was the one. That dog didn't know that was my forever person, dude, because she was loyal to my ex-wife. Oh, that damn. was my ex-wife's dog. Got it. Good testament to the breed. Akitas are very. Damn, loyal. I might ask my ex to borrow the dog for a weekend and just beat, beat the it. hell out of it. <laughs> just beat its ass. Put cigarettes out on it. <laughs> shave just its let fur. it loose. Just shave its fur. That's a good move. Just get drunk and just see your stepdog. Yeah, just whoop your stepdog. What the ass. hell? I thought I told you to leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> if the stepdog gets stuck. Yeah. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah. I mean, dude. Yeah. I mean, you can get a step kid. I don't want to step. Push kid. it around a little. Yeah. I don't want. To, I don't seems want like to a nightmare. That'd be fun. It man. seems such yeah. like it seems so Push bad. You still got to take care of it, but you don't. You don't have the love. So it just works. Nah, you, yeah. would love, you would love the kid. I, I don't. You, I, <laughs> you would nah, love the kid. Not Depends at all. how old the kid what? is when you start. Fourteen. Oh God! <laughs> I'd be looking at her TikToks. <laughs> True. No, talking about a boy. <laughs> like I saw First you on TikTok. You can't. Step, you can only step at a boy. You can't have a stepdaughter, bro. Yeah. You can't. You have to especially like, when they're teenagers. I think that's when you like really. Like, you would tell your adult girl. Fuck yeah, up. You tell your adult girlfriend like, dude, I love you, but it's too erotically charged for me to be a step. step <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. The tension. My God. Be like, you know, and I'm not, I would never lay a finger on her at this age, but I just can't promise you she's not going to severely come on to me when she becomes legal. And I don't know that I'll be able to. She got to be honest, dude. Number one yeah. porn in the country, the step yeah, stepdaughter. I was early. I was early into it. You Same. Were? I was very early. You were. I think. Yeah. I think. I think everyone. I think it just it grew word of mouth, dude. Yeah. So, I mean, I remember like the very first one was just a stepmom getting in bed with her son on Who vacation. Knew? Oh. And, she, and she was like, "What are you hard?" 
Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Fine, I'll hot. help. That's the, that was oh. the ultimate. Yeah, that was the first one. That was what they peppered in there. I go further. Give me blood related. Really? Oh, yeah. really? Let's go blood. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to do it, but I want to watch it because yeah. I want the real taboo. Because step is not taboo to me. They're not even related. So you want you just want to see like identical twins 69ing? Oh, just be like, yes, please. It's complete. Yes, it's complete. It's complete. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. That's the serpent eating its tail. It's like yeah. this is yeah. eternity. Yeah, yin and yang, and they're Asian. <laughs> I'm into that. That's a, that's a TikTok now, by the way. What? Stepbrother, stepsister. Fucking? Except they're real. And they, they're not fucking. They're just joking about fucking each other what? on TikTok. It's even bro. hotter. In real, that's hot. It's so hot. Oh, that, actually, I'm just trying all, to go to bed, bro. That's a good icebreaker, by the way. Like, yo, let's make this fucking oh, funny ass TikTok and just feel your stepsister out. See your eyes dilate a little. Like, I think she wasn't. Oh. I had some people that lived up the street from me that the stepbrother and stepsister were fucking. I mean, dude, it was it, like it was like big, big news in my neighborhood. If you don't, if you're a stepbrother, yeah, you don't how are you not put it out there? There's a girl in your house. Yeah. You're yeah, exactly. You gotta do it. You're in pajamas every night with a boner. She's got the short shorts on. She's in the room the, next door. Dream, oh. Dude, you guys are having dreams about it and eating cereal. Like, fuck. Oh, oh man. Damn, this is erotic. Oh yeah, I get it. I, I mean, a, if you don't go for it, and you have a step anything, even a stepbrother, I'd fuck my stepbrother. Kiss him. Just to see what you <laughs> just drunk. On the 4th of July, <laughs> under the fireworks. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. Step anything. You got to go for it, dude. <laughs> yeah. He's got oh, little, little little s'mores right here. You wipe it off. <laughs> you wipe it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude, what, what was that show? Fuck Try about? to kiss him and then just be like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Or, no, I no, misread the situation. You go in for the kiss and then you instantly like, what the fuck are you yeah. doing? He's like, you yeah, kissed me. Like, no, I fucking did it. That's what uh, Don Vito did. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> or not Don Vito. Was, the fat was one. it Don Vito? It was Vito. 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 Don Vito is fucking Bam's uncle. <laughs> R.I.P. True pedophile <laughs> He's legend. Dead? He's a pedophile? I think he was. What? I think he got in trouble. Yeah, yeah I think so. I don't know about full pedophile, though. I think he was just getting underage snizz. He was. What's the word for that? It's a, a phoebophile. It's called being a dude. It's a phoebophile, dude. <laughs> it's called being a man, dude. There should be a separation there. Is there is. Okay. There is, but it everybody is. just called calls a you a pedophile. Phoebio. A e phoebophile or something. E-phoebio. It's yeah, a distinction. It's, it's like a... You're like a sergeant in the pedophile world. Yeah. <laughs> it's this... It's this uh, you got rank. It's this disorder that's new that's been <laughs> totally fine for... <laughs> 50,000 years? Yeah, And right. then in the last 20, people were like, you can't bang a 17-year-old. It's like, yeah. yeah, what a time to be alive, this, dude. <laughs> you're going to die on this hill one people, day. People get so mad. They do. I, always, I know. I talk about this too much, but it's funny. But it's funny. You make a case. It's funny because a lot of people will talk. <laughs> make a solid A case. lot of people will all day long hit you with evolution. These are the same dudes that like spaz on feminists for hating evolutionary biology. And then you're like... What about 17 year olds? They're like, to get the fuck out of here. That's not the same fucking yeah. thing. And it, well, that's because they want to roll up the pedophiles, dude. That's like their number but one. But you do get to a point where you go, that's, that's a of kid. Course, that's of course, of course. However, of course, dude, if you I were don't a actually king want to fuck and you had a harem and they had like, you know, yeah, and they were bound to you by like conquest and, you know, you have to for the kingdom, dude. Yes. So there's some dudes out here doing it for the kingdom. And, yes. you know, unfortunately, wrong place, wrong. It's just, these are complicated <laughs> times. Yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> Trying to assemble their harem. Why did God make it okay, though? Like a 14-year-old can have a baby. True. Ooh. So why did he... I'm not... I'm an atheist, but I'm just saying, why did science make it okay? You talked talk me into it. <laughs> <laughs> just ask it. I, I'm not... I'm, I like a, a milf. Well, I'm a I, cougar, I think, man. I think that's for in case things get really bad, then you get greenlit. So it's like just in like, case... That's like survival. backup batteries. No, backup that's just, batteries. That's just because our... Yeah. It's it's backup batteries. That's when we... We're supposed to have kids. true back in the day. Yeah, because yeah. everybody died at so 30. Right. yeah. So if you, that's why it's ah, okay. Because there yeah. still is common law marriage. If you're intent on marrying a woman, yeah, you can get. Married. There's certain like religions where you can get married young. Yeah, mm. like gross. Also, to defend myself on the wanting to fuck young teens. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's just because I'm old now. So I see like a 24 year old, and I'm like, that girl's 15. She's hot yeah, as hell. Same. That's all it is. I'm it not being so a, young. Yeah. I know you are. You're talking about like 24 year olds. I mean, I'm seeing them in New York. They're clearly going to like NYU or they're grad, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, they're so hot. Although I, I do the young girls. When you walk through like Washington Park, Washington Square, but you ever walk through there? Oh yeah. When you from the yeah. What How awful is that? No, it's just this it's constant NYU kids like partying and protesting. It's really? pretty rough. It's the gayest place on earth. Yeah, they're, it they're fucking so, sucks. Dude. Their social life now that it's been bound up in like oh, yeah, the news. Yeah. Now that they like they like party around the daily times, they're like, yeah. fuck yeah, dude. But it's like drum, drum circles. circles and, it's drum circles. And painting. And they, no, and they all have fucking 
giant speakers. There's like five different people blasting rap. And it's all like black dudes and then young college chicks that are so excited to be hanging out with black dudes. <laughs> like they have their cell phones out, like passing blunts with black dudes. Right. It's crazy. Really? Good Sad, time for dude. the black dudes. Great time for black dudes. Yeah. <laughs> it's about time though, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know true. what? I see it. Yeah. I see that. It's a good time for them. It just it, it stinks the way they, they how they party now has to do with being like, we're changing the world. And it's like, uh, you know. Uh, I know. How about just having fun? Live and dude, up. they're just- Imagine well, they, your daughter they, going to NYU. You're some guy from fucking Nebraska. Yeah. Check out her fucking social media. It's her with like three black dudes in the park smoking a blunt. Well, I don't see- what, Oh, no. I don't see- I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fuck. You're talking about because of her, like, politics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't care at all. Know, you're not going to make me uncomfortable on this. I'm, yeah. I'm joking. No, I know you are. It's just not a good one. What? The joke. What? It was a bad joke. Which one? The one you were just trying to make. About What's this, fucking being scared who's on see... first? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still doing it? Seeing your daughter date a black guy? No, not date. Just out there, out in college, like, woo, on social media. Just like, what happened? Yeah. My sweet little girl. She'd been with the quarterback, now she's bro. In New, now she's in New York. She'd just, been with the quarterback. She'd been with the QB instead of smoking weed outside. Yeah. Disgusting. True. I'll strangle my daughter to death. She's out there. <laughs> she's ever. Passing in peace fight with my <laughs> Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's it's we, we can walk through tonight. You'll see it. I'll oh, you're going to leave. We'll talk, yeah, it'll we'll be after our, yeah. after our hit new show that starts True. in 20 minutes. True. I saw one time that was during all the protests, there was a bunch of kids, it must have been 18, 17, and they were going, fuck you, pigs, to the cops, just standing there, like, leaning against their unit or their car, oh. you know, and you're like, what are you doing? This is your day? Just yelling at these guys? Yeah, it made me like cops. Right. Yeah, like true. I never really liked cops, but now that everyone hates them, I'm like I fucking love cops. And like half of them are black cops. <laughs> I and do. Shit, I love cops. And women cops, and they're like fuck. Well, you, they're you traitors racist. to their race. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It was so silly. I even like, the white people talking. To them. I was like, yo, Jill. <laughs> like I got you, brother. I'm doubling yeah. down. No. Yeah. The, for for cops to be black is inherently, or for black guys to be cops is inherently disrespectful to their entire culture. Benefits, social mobility, right. or not. It's their it's bad like, they're fucking up dude it's like white rappers <laughs> <laughs> no everyone celebrates them pretty heavily right dude if you want to go a Brazil, i'm telling you if you i'm ter in terms of like views white rappers crush with views really you fuck what with tom mcdonald dude is that that guy again do you fuck with tom mcdonald never no. heard of him dude he's a white rapper he's just a, he's a white rapper Tom that, McDonald? He sounds like a carpenter. Or he, something. I think yeah. he was a wrestler. Does he go by old McDonald? <laughs> no, he does. He's Tom McDonald, dude. He and he a, raps? He raps, and it's just kind of like... His rap is just alt-right comedy podcast put into poetry. He's just like, what oh. the fuck is about this? And he just like oh, yeah, attacks yeah, woke yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's 25 bazillion views. Oh, yeah. because there's a but there's, Re Recent video, he had a trans lady in the video. It, like, it popped up, and he's like, hey, fuck your pronouns, rap snowflakes. Her? No, he didn't he rap. Mile to trance. He no, he, he was doing his video is called Snowflakes. So it's, every video is him on a burning I'm name car. Name my special that Snowflakes, dude. I've already thought of it. Sorry, 20, liberals. Twenty five million, dude. You'll get twenty five percent. <laughs> and all the comments are like, finally, someone speaking the truth to these <laughs> motherfuckers. And his video in it was a trans lady, and then he came out with a thing today or two days ago or so that was like, shout out to that my star co star in the video was a trans woman. Then the fans got a little like, oh no. Like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it yeah. was divided. There's some guy, people. Is he the guy who wears the MAGA hat when he raps? There's one I've seen no, that. No, guy. no, 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 no. Mm. Tom McDonald. Like face tattoos. Tom McDonald did the thing at first. It was like white privilege where he came out and it was almost like a very woke rap. And then he flip flopped and was like, fuck you, woke motherfuckers. And then mm. just pff, bazillion views. I think the woke circle kind of like. I was like, fuck you, dude. You're appropriating culture. And he was just like, yeah. Snowflakes. <laughs> and just bzz, 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 shot up. That's a good rap name, Snowflake, for a white True. rapper. Yeah. I think there was, no, there was Snow. There was snow, no man. Snow. Oh, there was Snow, snow the white rapper. Yeah. The Informer. The Informer. The informer. Yeah. <laughs> Great song. Yeah. Hell of a tune. But yeah. No, white rappers, they're hot right now. I didn't know that. I don't think they are at all. They're hot, dude. Check the YouTube views. Tom McDonald's are hitting fucking top of the billboards. Yeah. I don't know who runs. There's no them. way he's top of the billboard. He, dude, I'm telling you, it's like he's he's hitting some sort of chart. I think that's like Taylor Swift. Yeah, and Tom McDonald, dude. <laughs> Tom McDonald's not on the Billboard dude, top 1,000. I'm about to find Tom McDonald. I think right billboards now. are out now. It's just all Spotify and YouTube. Yeah, the charts. And... No, he just refers to like the charts. So 
So I don't know which mm. charges. Is he a rapper saying he's top of the charts? Yeah. And I think he is, dude. Top 40. Tom McDonald, Snowflakes, Tom McDonald. It's all, dude. Let me see him. D or Wait, M. This is the guy. Yeah, he's got tattoos he all over hat? his face. Is he kind of fat? A lot of white rappers do. No, he's not. Well. Mm. Yeah, the guy I was thinking of was fat, too. I'm telling you, this isn't. But I have seen this. He looks like fucking uh, Gary Owens in that one. No uh-huh. lives matter. She's trans? No, I think that's his girlfriend. Not trans. Hey, that's his girlfriend. He's got a hot girlfriend? Yeah. All right. Maybe he is top 40. I'm telling you, dude. I got to find. He has like a. He checks in with his fans a lot. He checks in with us a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you guys call yourselves? I don't know, dude. I, that's actually, I got to see. But he, you know, like when people on YouTube do like statuses, he's always like, bro, like, thank you guys so much. We're chopping. We're on number two on the charts right now. So he's on some sort of chart. Maybe the iTunes chart. It could be the iTunes chart, which is, you know. Oh, yeah. It's like every comedian when they release their album. Yeah. Number, like, one, number, one, number one right one, now. Yeah, yeah. It's always still Gaffigan. Yeah. Every it's time. always Gaffigan. Yeah. Every one, time. Every time. <laughs> Well, like, finally, it, I beat Gaffigan for yeah, like an hour. For, yeah. For an hour. <laughs> then he's back up. I was just looking at his, right? Was it? No, I didn't show you that. The Gaffigan, when he talked shit to, uh, who'd he crush on Twitter? Oh, some Karen. Oh, Neil, Neil Brennan. Oh, really, bro? Oh, that was amazing. It's so funny to see Gaffigan just bodies people. Fuck why with do you, that guy. Why that do you guy fucking body Brennan? I, Brennan was like, oh, what are you joking about food again? And he was like, no, actually. And just a paragraph eviscerating. And you could tell Brennan just like closed his computer and cried. Yeah, it was he a... And he'd been it. thinking this obviously for a while. I, yeah, oh, dude, I think exactly. I would have to check the times, but it might have been a quick response. Like yeah. he was just like, what'd you say? <laughs> well, people forget he was like a college ball he played for purdue yeah, yeah. i think yeah, he's a beast. yeah. yeah dude you see the old gaffigan grades, pictures bro. true he's like a farm you know yeah corn he's got like white five boy. kids too dude, he's a yeah. good catholic he's a devout catholic dude. oh yeah don't fuck with gaffigan no did he, he i don't want to keep talking yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 but there's yeah. been a couple but don't dude. fuck with gaffigan he's crushed people. oh crush you dude what did he crush the dude on uh he the other guy was trying to make fun of his comedy so yeah. he made fun of his comedy back and he did it pretty well it he, was like kind of pinpoint sniper and it was so funny because you could tell Neil Brennan was definitely like, oh, I'm talking shit on just a, he's like a clean, right. this will be an easy layup. Right. <laughs> it just turns out it was a beast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just rage. <laughs> he had rage. Dude. Fuck. A lot of clean comics are, they're holding dark lives. Yeah. yeah. Dark lives. Somebody once said if a, com- if a male comic's not talking about his dick, I'm nervous. <laughs> it's not my line. It's true. I got to work on that. Talk about your dick? Yeah, I don't have any more dick jokes, dude. Oh, dude. They'll, they'll come. They just yeah. flow, dude. Yeah. I think I like come up with a different like, joke about my dick every day, and I'm like, oh, no, it's too much. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> it's too much. I just hate it. That's all I yes. think about, pretty much. Your penis? Pretty Same. Much. Same. What, do you, what do you think about your penis? Just, I wish it was more like this, or yeah. I wish it was like that. Really? It's with this mole. Yeah. Yeah, I ran into it the other day. I was uh, about to get in the shower, mm-hmm. and uh, I had I had just had sex, but I was nice. laying in bed for a while. Swag. And when I went to get in the shower, how many times? My dick was small but still <laughs> erect for some reason. Nice. It was crazy. What? I've never seen it look like this. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened. That's like a blue ball penis. If it was you like, insane. If you're like dating and you like make out and heavy like do like yeah. heavy petting all night, you'll get like a blue ball chode. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. That's just it's just like a, a hard penis. That's it's it's weird. And I had. Uh, I had just shaved my pubes. Nice. Uh-huh. Not entirely, but Baked enough or like a- enough that it was like with my belly and then no pubes and then a tiny pink dong sticking straight out. Swag. It looked crazy. A little lipstick. I've never seen anything like it, dude. <laughs> I walked Weird. past I just and it was just quick, dude. I walked past the mirror just like, whoa. Yeah. And this was while it was shower. like soft hard? It was yeah, it was soft hard. Still kinda up. It was wild. I've never heard of this. That's like an ice bath dong. Well, you guys are fat. Mind. No, if you take an ice bath, your dong will just flaccid boner. It'll just stick yeah. straight up. Oh, yeah. Crazy. That's fun. <laughs> it's pretty tight, yeah. Yeah. It gets into periscope mode, just blasts out of the water. And it's like, it's yeah. pretty disturbing. My uh, balls are so long. I got uh, my <laughs> got long balls. All ugly, ugly. And my balls are brown and weird. What? Yeah. How'd my, you get that? I think wear and tear. <laughs> I think I've just beat it up and thrown it around so much. It's turned. Yeah. It's like elbow grease. You know, your, your elbow's a little darker. You True, know, yeah. And I think it's just like that. It's just stretched and yanked and twisted. Well, yeah. What? Shit. What are you? you? Look like you're like Turkish. <laughs> like like Iranian, you? possibly yeah. Iranian. True. What? You ever do a twenty three of me? I've uh, I've gotten Cuban. I I had never have. I'm too scared. But I'm I think part Why? Sicilian, part French. Why are you scared? I don't want to get some black in me. No, I'm just uh, <laughs> joking. Uh, don't Write call the down. missus. But uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't want to 
spit into a Well, it was funny. Yeah, I was worried about that. I was like, I don't want to give some company my DNA. Yeah. And then I got tricked into getting clear at the airport. You ever get clear. that? What's clear? Yeah, well, they take like a retina scan. They do all types yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. And it was clear? quick. It's just to get through. Rather than the scanner. Yeah, you, they yeah, just take you to the front the whole line. line. Some, it's actually kind of uncomfortable doing it. It's super uncomfortable. Because they bring you in front of, yes. a, a representative literally is like, follow me. Yes. Takes you straight to the front of everybody. I've seen some of these. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's they very uncomfortable. Take a picture of I'm always eye? like two hours early. <laughs> so like I go straight through and go to a bar. Yeah. Do you have to do it every time? Or just once? No, just once. They literally scan your eyes. And then that's a way to check in. But I didn't know. I just got tricked by a lady. Well, it used to be fingerprint. Yeah. Well, now it's fingerprint and eyes. Oh, shit. So you, that's your security pass. So they know you don't even your need your eyeballs. Pass. They you just walk in and go like that. It's yeah, crazy. It's or you don't future. need an ID. Right, right. Yeah. So you can never get away with a crime, basically. Yeah. Or you'd have to have shades on. <laughs> <laughs> like a hamburger mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little Zorro action. Yeah, that's but, nuts. It's all coming from. But it was it was after like a long time of being like, I'm not getting this. I'm not doing that. Yeah, and then yeah. one day I was like, Yeah, I'll get cleared today. I got time. And the lady was like, All right, follow me. Just type in all of your information. Yep. Type in this. And yep. she's like, Scan your eyeballs real quick. And I, I was too deep in the process to be yeah. like, No, thank you. I don't want the yeah. government getting my eyes. Is it a hot lady? It seems like a hot, look good job. It was for a black a lady. She lady. fucking railroaded me, dude. Really? Yeah. She had me going. Really? Yeah, it was nice. She was like, oh, sugar. She hit me with all that. So I was yeah. like, we got a good thing going here. I can't ruin it. She underground railroaded you. <laughs> she, you know? and she fucking <laughs> scanned your eyeballs. And then my eyeballs got scanned to clear whatever yeah. company that I is. I will say that saved my ass on a few late flights. Yeah. I've gotten right through it. I'm like, thank God. And yeah. the flight was boarding. Where do you actually on. go to the line? You just go like... It's off to the side. Yeah, You've seen it. It's right there. You go scan your eyes in front of these people, <laughs> and then they take you to the front of the line. So it's not the pre-check. It's like a company that Different. somehow has a thing with... I have no idea I don't how, know how it works. It's well, like it's, how they it's, it's the it. government. It's a quasi... It's probably... It's totally worth it. It's like Facebook. They did all... The, like a private company. If the government was doing this, everyone like, fuck no. But a private company is like, you want to fly faster, bro? And then they sell all that information. Yeah, but then the there's government. still TSA pre-check, which yeah. is different. So it's like becoming like a market to just get people to the front of the line. Yeah. So eventually, if yeah, you're gonna have to buy something. Otherwise, yeah. you're we'll stuck. Do, that'll be like yeah. a finger prick soon. I'm like, yeah, let's get some blood out. Yeah, of let's see that blood. I don't know. I still have an iPhone, so good. Point. Yeah, it's all it every, matter. everyone's fried. Nobody's yeah. going to. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's and what, fried. You know what are they gonna fucking track me? Right. True. Like he goes to clubs at night and yeah. sits inside all day. See the talks. They're like, yeah, it's pretty. See the TikToks. They'll be like, yeah, he's a pedophile. And he <laughs> hangs out inside. <laughs> we got him. It's worse than your luggage. You get your retina scan, and the, the person at the thing just sees all of your web history. And you're like, fuck. You know what else is weird is going to a trip with your girlfriend, and she doesn't have clear. So I'm like, bye. See I'll see you in there I'm in an better hour. Than you. And she's just got to sit in that rat maze with all the fat Ohioans. <laughs> and, oh, uh, you got to get stuck behind them. Yes. They've never flown in their life. Yes. Yeah. I get it. Everybody's always mad at the TSA agents for being mean. They deal with oh, fucking yeah. a herd of retards yes. all day, every day. Yes. Can we take our shoes off? The Shoes in the bin. Yeah. Like, yeah. And and shoes in bin. Take the fucking shoes off. Yeah. Pockets empty. And then this thing, the woo woo, you know, that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. They're like, there's two feet on the floor. And the people are like. Oh, that's You're like, just put the feet I on the feet. Metal detector. You do. <laughs> I go through. I get the metal, and they have to do it. Did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> now that I have it, fuck, I'm not going through that thing. Why? It, it's banned in Europe, dude. They don't. What? Those things, yeah, those, I think. I, I think. I don't. Think. Give that a goog. Google no, that. No, that can't be. I think I'm I, telling you. When I went through customs in England, you just walked through like a hallway of that. Really? It was crazy. Maybe I'm yeah, wrong. it was like an entire hallway of just that. Well, when you have a when you have a little baby, they let you go through the metal detector. But I but before I would be like, I'm doing that, and they're like, it's they a good way hand, to get through gotta, the line. They got to it is pretty yeah. nice. Yeah, and they got to pat the you down. Detector. They got to pat you down, do all this stuff. Sometimes like wait there and they make you wait. Yeah, be dicks. What a nice feeling when there's like a handicapped person in front of you, and then they open the metal detector oh. line. You get to sneak in. Yeah, because I always have sweaty feet. I feel bad going into the uh, oh, yeah. the yeah. thing with your yeah, sweaty socks on the yellow imprint. Ugh. No, you can request that, and they have to do it. <laughs> really? Yeah, you go, I went to Metal Detector. It's banned in Europe. Oh, they are? Nice. Yeah, I stay up on fucking we ban x-ray them. technology. I what do are they banned for? Ban I Europe usually bans things, although they'll, they'll Damn, say some like- some lady's looking at that TSA monitor, seeing my pig dick. <laughs> she's like, I've never seen a dick like this in my life. They do <laughs> clear, they do the uh, retina scan and just see your dick. He's like, he's hard, but he's limp. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a hard, tiny. They just go up, like, go over there. Big balls underneath this tiny. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, Europe usually, like, whenever we have, like, weird ingredients, they'll get, like, the, the companies who make them will do the science or they'll be buddied up with the FDA. 
but Europe apparently has a little bit more stringent of a policy. Europe's more stringent about web web uh, security too. Yeah. Who the fuck is this guy? There's been a guy that's been banging outside the door and this, screaming this, this entire time. time. Fuck. It's another WAP. True. I mean, we're right next to a kitchen too, so. True. The WAPs ah. are in there. It's a me. Yo. Yeah. You gotta, Shut up, oh, you this guinea. Rush, the rush is on. <laughs> they live for the rush, dude. Gardini knows. Gardini worked in a fucking Italian restaurant. Oh, yeah. Restaurant. You worked in an Italian pizza shop. Yeah, dude. I worked for WAPs too. They do love screaming. They fight, oh, yeah. they fight all day in the freak, kitchen. Dude. They freak. They spaz every day. Dude, they're ridiculous. <laughs> Your wife's a Moulinian. <laughs> All right, that's my last black joke. Itali- no, Italians do say that. It's good. I know, yeah. I know. I've seen the movies. Classic Italian joke. Yeah. Which means eggplant, I believe. It does. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Was that another it's one? It's just, just continuously just happening. In. The WAPs just keep checking in on the room. Yeah, what well, is heard, They heard, they heard, they they heard and they're like, <laughs> are we partying? <laughs> <laughs> like, I got some things to say. So that's the eggplant. So the eggplant emoji is a little disrespectful. Oh. Yeah, well, and that's the, supposed this, to represent the, black well, dong. The saying, so. the saying is supposedly... With an eggplant, the darker the eggplant is, the less you can trust the. Oh my god! Yeah, it's a pretty vicious saying. <laughs> That's a very dark one. Yeah, because there's. I think when like the eggplant gets too dark, look that up. When the eggplant gets too dark, they're like, I don't know if this is a good one to use. So Have you looked into racial slurs? No, I just I've you I've had it, a dude. One. When you date black women, you get the l- road down on all the stuff. Right. And that's a tough one. Now that you say it like that. Yeah. That's a real rock. I think I think it could be wrong. It could be wrong. That also might have been an Italian dude that told me that too. I'm not sure, but yeah, Damn. Italian dudes. I'm gonna speak for all of them right now. Yeah, hate black people. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, yes. they're the problem. It turns out they are. Yeah, I've been trying to. I've been screaming this from the rooftops, dude. And they know all the definitions of all the slurs. Yeah, they have. They the like fucking Wapapedia. Yeah, dude. It mixes yeah. them in with Italian. Think it's Whip-a-guidia. all right. I'm here to tell them, dude. It's a game fun. Wapapedia. Here we go. Here we go, on now. Wapapedia, dude. <laughs> right at the end of the episode, I'll turn it on the Jets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, they're uh, they're a problem for this Yeah, country. in Brooklyn, there was a lot of uh, friction with the black and the WAP. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, they love it. Yeah, that was uh, Rocky and Apollo. That was all that whole was. Whole movie, dude. Yeah. Yeah, true. Rocky, that was his whole movie. Right. We fucking, we've talked about it. Yeah. But it's weird because they were discriminated against. Like, Italians were fucking gross back Well, then. yeah. Like, untouchable, yeah, get away from Yeah, we need to bring me. it back. Yeah. yeah. We got to get them under control, dude. They're out of control right now. The, the, the WAFs? Yeah, they're out of control. Ever since Jersey Shore, dude. They think they've got the run True, the they think their shit doesn't stink, dude. And the mob. That's because the whole country told them it didn't stink for some reason. Everyone was like, oh, I love Snooki. Yeah. Ugh. Well, they were kind of They were kind of a them. joke at first. Now they're all like millionaires that everyone's like, yeah. let's watch the reunion. We love them because well, of the nostalgia type. There's right. a loophole, apparently, to the American dream where if you're like publicly <laughs> retarded enough, you become a millionaire. Mm. Snooki, all the real housewives. Yeah. That's true. It's Jake Paul. Back door. Right, right. <laughs> back door. I might fight Floyd Way better than uh, Floyd Mayweather. Actually, I might get a piece of that. I guess. I'll take 20 million bucks or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> just be like, just get knocked out. That was, uh, that was the best part of the Buster Douglas doc when they were like, he was fighting Mike Tyson and they were like, there's got to be a better way to make a million dollars. Like, that's how bad he it was. Like, dude, just getting knocked out by Tyson. Damn. All these poor black dudes in Ohio were like, just, don't do it. Just man. get a job. Yeah. Just make forty thousand a year, dude. Don't Damn. do this. It's not worth it, man. Yeah. Didn't Fuck. he beat him once? He beat him. Oh, he did beat him. Yeah, it's, okay. a, it's the best. Well, I got all I've been this. talking about. It's called so forty two and one. Beat Tug- What's this Those on? are the odds. It's on ESPN. Ooh. Thirty for thirty. So oh, Douglas beats T I cry every time. Whoa. What? It's awesome. I'm in. Yeah. So it Buster makes T I cry? No, I cry every oh, time. T I probably tears up. He probably does. Yeah. Oh damn, Shawty. Oh Shawty. I thought he said it made T.I. cry. I was like, <laughs> I could see him fucking the rubber band man breaking the rubber band. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I guess I didn't know. Was that when Tyson was like partying and getting fucked up? Yeah. I hate the idea of Tyson losing, man. It bothers me. Uh, Yeah, but to Buster Douglas, it was awesome. His That's mom just sick. died. He was oh, like, he right. was a perennial. Yeah. Everybody was like, this guy's a loser. He never lived up to his potential. Whoa. And in one night, he put it together and beat the best fighter in the world. There's a Tyson doc now on abc and they're like ABC. he got it yeah abc ran it which, and then the, here's the weird part because he got accused and i think guilty of rape yes on a girl who was like doing miss black usa right the <laughs> wops are rowdy right now <laughs> and in the documentary they're like bashing her like they defend tyson what were Whoa. they saying on abc in the documentary they're like america was just so excited to see a black man go down and like 
Maybe that's true. I don't know. But then there was another one with what was his wife's name? Robin Givens. Robin Givens. Have you ever seen that fucking sixty minutes he did or twenty twenty? No, what happened? He did something with Barbara Walters. I think it's twenty twenty. Yeah. And she was doing an interview with him because there had been like allegations of like him hitting her and all these like crazy breakdowns. Because obviously he was he grew up like basically homeless. Yeah. Yeah. And he had a horrible life. And that's his fucking you know. Yeah. That's his, his go to. That's his default mode. Yeah. He's gonna punch something. Right. Yeah. And then. So he's in the middle of this interview with Barbara Walters. He's wearing like a sweater. He's being nice. Like, no, Robin. Or not Robin. He's talking to Barbara. He's like, Barbara, I would never hit a woman. Like, yeah. I love women. And no, I would never do that. I shake her. Sometimes I <laughs> shake her. And then Robin Givens comes in and sits down. Uh, not invited. Sits down. And he's sitting like next to her, like staring at her. Like, uh, like oh, <laughs> shit. And you can see he's got like the mind of like a child. Right, like, right. This is fucked up. Well, it's kind of shitty. Down. He's there trying to do like his damage control. Yeah, and then he, she comes in, and Barbara Walters is like, "Does he hit you?" And she's like, "Yes." Oh. And living with him is hell, and like just buries him. And she's what? like, "I don't think anybody could live with this guy." Damn. And he's like, "Well, I don't." <laughs> he's, the, he's like the water boy. He's like, yeah. Well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's just like, Mama I mean, told me you were the devil. <laughs> yeah, she was the devil. She was. But then in this documentary, again, they they trash Robin oh. Givens, hmm. and it's like, or what if he was hitting her? And that was the most courageous thing humanly possible. She sat down on national television, was like, "This piece of shit's hitting me." Wow, true. There is that. There's that side of it, but there's, there, you know, there's flip also, side of the coin. Where that's the one that no one is defending. Everyone true. was like, "Fuck Robin Givens." Really? Yes. What? But he's hitting her. Potentially, maybe we don't know that. But that'd be great if he just got it. Went. Also, God, time yeah, out. No, time yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna that that could be an easy like yeah. neurological exam. Like, but you're telling me you're you're champing punches from the true. Iron Mike, you're swallowing. He was coming on all point. like Good he point. hits me all the time. She'd be like, oh, she'd be like, hey, uh, yeah, he fucking. Yeah. <laughs> she would be punch drunk. Oh yeah, holy There's field, no way. Pussy. She'd have fractured ribs. Right. She's tiny. Yeah, yeah. man. I mean, maybe, maybe he Very was pretty. He, like he said, he was shaking her. I mean, that would have been a hell of a shake too. I Tyson mean, in his prime, and you're in a mansion with him. And he's screaming it's like at a paint you. Paint <laughs> Getting fired up for his fight. Also, I would say just on like a just relationship wise. Of like the level, <laughs> you're of, starting to agree with us. being annoyed. <laughs> the level being annoyed by your girlfriend, and then like there's things girls can do that can annoy you. But imagine you're on national TV and she sits down like actually, and you're like, <sighs> oh my god, that's like that's your eyes would. Bleed. And then in your head, you know, you could just kill the entire room <laughs> yeah. with your bare hands. You could end it all, dude. That would be brutal. And I think he had like a suicide attempt. Mm. He was a sad guy. Tyson, oh, Tyson yeah. was fucked, fucked up. up. Tyson He's a mess. Was fucked up. Yeah, he just chomp. He just and like, then Don King comes in and just steals everything. Like that guy's it's just evil. crazy, pure yeah. evil. But it's a good doc. That yeah, like Tyson. A I've seen like five Tyson docs. Yeah, keep yeah. putting them out. Yeah. They're always sad. They're always so sad. Yeah, he was, he was, he was so on the Logan captivated. Paul thing. He was on Impulsive. Was he? And they were like, Oh yeah, didn't they make him eat a bunch of shrooms? He didn't, and make, didn't do anything. He, he was like, I'm bringing mushrooms. You guys want some? Like, no, he ate four grams of mushrooms. Gave an interview and they kept trying to be like, yeah, but dude, like trying to talk about when he would just fuck people up. And he was like, I don't want to talk about that. That's not who I am anymore. Yeah. And they're like, but we want to talk boxing. And he was just like, and like, do you think I have a shot with Floyd Mayweather? He was like, no. Mm. Point he blank. did. He went the distance. He went eight rounds. It sucks. Yeah, man. Well, who's he, well, dude, who's he going to fight? Eventually, he's going to fight a boxer in his prime. He has to. Yeah. I Logan. Mean, yeah, Logan fought Mayweather. Yeah. yeah, he fought Mayweather. Which... And Jake Paul is about to fight Tyron Woodley. Wait, Jake Paul and Logan are the That's same dude? That's going to be ugly. They're, no, they're different dudes. That's his Jake's Logan's younger brother. Okay. Oh, Jake's been Jake the one going older. around knocking out. Wait, Logan? Oh, he's older? Wait, no, 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 Logan's older. Logan was the first famous one. Logan was the one who filmed a guy hanging in Japan. Yes. <laughs> which was funny. I so, <laughs> got a lot of views. He was funny. So was, was Logan the guy who's getting off of drugs or is that another Paul? There's one of the Pauls. Is, oh, we got to start. I think your show's right. going on. Hey, oh, shit. It, it ends our Paul talk for the week. True. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pick this back. To be continued. No, we're good. No, no, you don't have to. This is. Hey. 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 Are you? Speaking of Jews. Doing a podcast. Are <laughs> <laughs> right, you got anything you want to plug? You won't. You fucking You won't, will not dude. take you your dick out. Even show balls. We'll skin. allow it. We'll totally allow it. I'll take another strike. Just go balls. I'll take another strike. Oh my goodness. Don't do it, Ari. Oh my goodness. Oh. And, and the episode right there. Please. And show it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, the inside of the hole. Oh my God. The inside of the dick hole. Oh my God. Oh. Oh.
had some oh, brains. Shit. Look at those monkey brains. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, god. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. 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 Holy shit. Oh, how are you going to blur that? Or what are you going to do there? Black bar. Just black just, bar. Right, the Keep the thing. whole thing and just black bar that the entire time. Ooh. Nice. All right. Well, all show right. as much, find out as much as you can legally show and show that. And then yeah, black good bar. ending. You can't, you can't follow that. That's amazing. All right. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Yeah, that was, uh... <laughs> that was nice. awesome.